True story, right? Tom Cantella is a peaceful fella. He never was quick to fight. He's a pleaser and a thanker, an investment banker, respectful as he is polite. You just want to take Tom right home to your mom. You're never going to meet a nicer guy. He's a man for all seasons, but that's not the reason he's my hero till I die. You see, it all began down in Alphabet Land on the Lower East Side of the city. Everything was cool. We were shooting some poo, cold beer, and the girls were pretty. When a guy walked in with an oversized chin and a sweater with those fancy cables, he said, I'm here to proclaim that I got next game and put some quarters down on the table. The place was a buzz. We all knew who he was. It was freaking Owen Wilson, man. I'd seen Shanghai Noon just that afternoon, and I'll admit, I was a pretty big fan. But what Owen didn't know is he needed to go and put his name on the sign-up sheet, just like Tom and myself and everybody else did as soon as we came in off the street. So I appointed Tom to go drop the bomb and to give a little friendly advice, but he was sure surprised when he realized Owen Wilson is not very nice. He kind of looked at us with a deep mistrust, like talking to a couple of jerks, and he said, Listen, the quarters determine the order, man. That's the way it works. Tom said, well, then you might want to tell those girls who did sign the board, you know, cutting in line is pretty asinine, and I don't care if you're Harrison Ford. Then Owen got red. The veins in his head started bulging out everywhere. He was shouting and pouting. He called Tom out, said he'd kick Tom's ass right there. But Tom backed down. He looked at the ground and just walked on back to the bar. Because Tom came to drink beer. He didn't come here to get in a fight with an action star. So I bought him a scotch, and we sat and watched Owen straight like a king of the court, and we felt kind of lame. Tommy became a dark, introspective sort. He said, you know, my dad always treated me bad. It's a miracle I ever got fed, because he was always drunk. He called me a punk. He used to slap me upside the head. Now, I lived to tell, but I took his hell when I wish I would have killed that boozer. So you tell me how I got a scrape and bow to this pseudo-celebrity loser. I looked in his eyes. To my surprise, they were full of vinegar and spit. They drained his cup. He moved to get up. I thought, gracious lord, this is it. And I tried to restrain him. I couldn't contain him. I even tried to tell him a joke. But Tommy had heard it before, and he was crossing the floor like Chester on Gunsmoke. I could scarcely look. The floorboard shook as he walked up behind Owen's shoulder. And with adrenaline pumping, he gave it a thumping. And Tommy's blood ran colder. And he said, excuse me! called me out. I sure hope you're not still bitter. But after doing some thinking and a whole lot of drinking, I've had cause to reconsider. I'm taking you up, so put down your cup and we'll step outside man to man. The fight will be fair because my friend's over there and I sure as hell won't see Jackie Chan! Well, he had his attention and Owen was clenching his hands up close to his face. He said, listen dude, you don't have to be rude. Get out of my personal space. But old Tom was deaf. I held my breath as he grabbed a big hunk of his shirt and they went straight to the wall and Owen didn't fall but it looked like it probably hurt. Now Owen's an actor. It could be a factor and I know this kind of thing is fakeable but when he got upset his eyes got wet. The tears were unmistakable. My jaw just dropped. The action stopped. Then Owen broke free of Tommy and he turned and he swore and he ran out the door presumably home to his mommy. Tom yelled where are you going Owen as he ran off into the night. With all of his pot and might. And then the whole place cheered and bought him a beer and they crowned him the king of the place. And since that affair, we ain't seen hair nor hide of Owen Wilson's face. So if you're a star and you go to a bar, please observe the local custom. Or a certain fella named Tom Cantella might take all your teeth and bust them. And as for me, I got a DVD of Little Owen and Shanghai Nights. And it sure feels fine to press rewind and laugh each time he fights. Cause Tom is. Owen's movies, but not the guy.